ಶ್ರೀಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮರಿವೋ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರು ಸುದೇವ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವಲೋಕಾನಂ ಬಿಶಿಪರೋಗಣಂ ಇದೆ ಸರ್ವಿಧ್ಯಾನ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತೆ ನಮಃ ವಕ್ರತುಂಡ ಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿ ಸಮಪ್ರಭ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಗುರು ಮೇ ದೇವಸರ್ವಕಾರ್ಯೇ ಸರ್ವದ ಗಜಾನನ ಭೂತಗಣಾಸೀವಿತ ಗಬಿಜ ಬಹುಪರಸಾರ್ವಕ್ಷಿತ ಮಾಸದ ಶೋಕ ವಿನಾಶಕಾರಣ ವಿಘ್ನೇಶ್ವರ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಶುಕ್ಲಾಂಬರಮಷ್ಟ ಶಿಶುಪಡ ಚತುರ್ಥಿ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ವದನ ಧ್ಯಾಯೇತರ ವಿಘ್ನೋಪಚಾಂದೇ ವ್ಯಾಸಮ್ಮಷ್ಟನಪ್ತಹರ ಶಕ್ತೆ ಉತ್ತಮಕಲ್ಮಶ ಪರಾಶರಾತ್ಮೇಶುಗದಾತ್ಮಿ ವ್ಯಾಸಾಯ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾಯ ವ್ಯಾಸೂಪಾಯ ವಿಷ್ಣುಮೇ ನಮೋ ವೈ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣತೆ ವಾಸಿಷ್ಠ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ಯ ನರಂಜೀವ ನರೋದ್ಧಂ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತೀಂ ಜೈವ ಜಯಮದೀರ್ಹೇತ್ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಕ್ ವಿ ವರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಗಂಧರ್ವ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾನಿಂಗ್ ಮೋರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ಹೌ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ಟು ಕಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ರಿವೆಂಜ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ಡಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ how parashara was born and then what happened to the brugus how they were about to be exterminated by the kshatriyas how they escaped all those things we heard from the gandharva and then based on the gandharva's explanation and suggestion the pandavas went searching for daumya and they met daumya and daumya agreed to become their priest so with that with the mass suggestion they decided that they will next go to drupada's capital panchala kingdom and in panchala kingdom there was wedding ceremony was prepared for draupadi and they heard about this while they were in eka chakranagara from a brahmana they heard that drupada was planning a swayamvara so i am or is self choice the bride has the right to choose whom she wants to marry and like that so th- all the princes kings everyone will arrange assemble there and then she has a choice to make so pandavas go there so th- when they entered the pandava they introduce when they entered the panchala they introduce themselves as uh, brahmanas and there uh brahmanas from eka chakra they said they came they came from eka chakra nagar and they lived in a potter's house adopting brahmanical profession like every day going for bhiksha and then surviving based on that say so they used to like that nobody recognized them in that capital they lived and roamed freely and then here drupada was preparing for the swayamvara all along once draupadi was born he was and he was defeated by previously he was defeated by arjuna he always wanted to give that daughter to arjuna because he thought arjuna is the best warrior and kshatriya in the world and he wanted draupadi to marry him but he also heard about pandavas heard that pandavas all the pandavas five of them with kunti got burnt uh, burnt to death in varanavrat so he heard about that but he was still hoping that somehow pandavas might have escaped and arjuna would come and marry his daughter so but he thinking about that he prepared a machinery where a mark will be on the sky and on a tall pole and he leaves five arrows there with a bow which a, which is a very strong bow and his uh he declares that anyone who comes and ties that bow the string to that bow and then using one of using any of those five arrows or even five arrows they have to shoot that mark on the sky which he has uh, attached in the pole so whoever does does that they will win the swayamvara so he thinks about arjuna and makes that preparations hearing that this swayamvara all the kings from all over bharata they came there all the kings princes everybody came there with their sons to witness the event and also participate from hastinapura duryodhana with all his brothers went there karna went there and many many brahmanas went there to witness that event and all of them were received by drupada with um, great respect 
and honor and they also then drupada was received all of them and made them feel comfortable and respect uh, worship them all of them brahmanas and everyone rishis who were all came there and then also there are thousands and thousands of citizens came to witness this swayamvara again this is like a festival huge festival imagine lot of people going there lot of in modern days lot of celebrities everybody going in there and then people will go like jubilee function happening now okay so then dupada to for this swayamvara it's lot of people are coming so you need to have a place right so they build a theater amphitheater a circular one and in that they built that on the northeast side of his capital and it was surrounded by beautiful mansions if you rem- if you compare this in the modern day if there is a olympic games for example they build a huge stadium or stadiums and then around that stadium olympic stadium they will have lot of quarters if you go to east london you will see olympic stadium and then with lot of quarters built houses built specifically for olympic athletes and who are coming similarly here in mahabharata says exact similar things where drupada built huge theater okay ground amphitheater and around that he built beautiful mansions and those man- mansions were adorned with uh, high walls and doorways arched doorways and beautifully decorated and theater again uh, had lot of flags and everything fully decorated it was sweet smelling sandal paste flower garlands everything it was decorated and that theater drupada prepared that for his daughter's wedding then in that mansions how they were those mansions those mansions were very tall okay and spotless like kailasa kailasa mountain with covered with snow it was like snow like spotless and windows were covered in gold walls were in diamonds carpets everything was precious clothes were preci- precious and the house was scented so much that you could smell the uh, you could smell it from miles away and mansions had huge doors and each doors allowed lot of people to move in uh, and it was fitted with uh, very good quality furnitures beds cots everything that's re- required for the visiting kings and princes and guests and everybody and everybody started arriving the princes kings everybody arrived and then pandavas also arrived they also came to that amphitheater and slowly the theater started building up people started coming one by one and then started filling up every day in that theater they used to have lot of entertainment music dance and all this kind of things they used to have there to entertain those people who assembled in that theater like that it went on and on and then finally on the 16th day draupadi came she purified herself and dressed beautifully with all the costly dresses and ornaments and everything she dressed with a holding a flower garland for her would be husband she comes there okay from there she comes and then the priest of panchala he lights up the sacrificial f- f- fire he pours ghee and does the homa and puja and everything and then once that's done drishtadimna drishtadimna who is drishtadimna anyone draupadi's brother the one who born in the fire so drishtadimna who had a de- very deep voice he sh- she says loudly in that amphitheater to all the assembled people the kings princes brahmanas and everybody citizens who were address sitting there he says that he shows at that bow the arrows and the thing in the sky that's hanging he shows them and says that whoever ties that bow string picks up the arrow shoots that mark on the sky they will uh, get draupadi draupadi will marry them he says that and then that's what he informs everybody the condition of that swayamvara and then he says uh, he start introducing everyone assembled all the 
uh, senior people assembled there, all the uh, princes, kings, everyone assembled, he started introducing them to Draupadi because Draupadi should know who is going to shoot next and like that. So, Drishtadimna, whom he introduces, he introduces first Dhritarashtra's sons, Duryodhana, Durvisha, Durmaka, all those things were Dushyasana used, so everybody was there. All Duryodhana and his brothers were there, along with Karna. Karna was there. And then he introduces sons of Gandhara. Gandhara is Gandhari's brothers, okay? Dhritarashtra's wife's brothers from Gandhara, Shakuni and his brothers, okay? They were there. There was Ashwatthama, Drona's son. Bhoja, Ashwatthama again, even though he was there, he was not participating. Okay, He was there just to witness the ceremony because Draupadi is his sister-like because they were studying in the same place and they're considered as brothers. Okay, Brothers and sisters. So he was not participating. Bhoja, everybody, and then Virata and his, his sons, um, Shanka, Uttara, Susharma, Senavindu, Suketu, uh, Suchitra, Sukumara, Vikarna, all these things. Jarasandha was there, the king, Jarasandha uh, from Magadha. And then Kalinga kings, uh, Shalya, Madhya of Madhra kingdom, uh, Shalya, and his son Sukmangada and Rukmarata, Somadatta from Kuru race, uh, he was there. And then Buri, Buri Shravas, Sara, all those people. All of them were there. There are many, many hundreds and thousands of princes and kings were there. Draupadi and Drishtadrimna introduces one by one to Draupadi. And then there was also Sankarshana, that is Balrama was there and Vasudeva was there. Krishna was also there. And then from the other Yadava and Vrishni people were there. From the Yadava and Vrishni tribe, people like Rukmini, Samba, Charudena, Pradyumna, uh, Krura, Satyaki, Jedrata, Valika, all those were there. Okay. So, and the Jedrata of Sindhu race. Jedrata is Dhritarashtra's sister's husband. Okay. Brother in law. So, they were there. Valika is Shantanu's uh, brother. So, he was there. Shishupala was there. Jarasandha was there. All those Kshatriyas were there. And Drishtadhyamna introduced everybody one after another. And once that introduction is done, Swayamara starts. Okay. All the kings assembled, everybody thought it's easy. Shooting an arrow is very easy for them. They started looking at their arms and thinking, yeah, I got the power. I can do this. All these people are just assembled here to watch me win this girl. So they were thinking like, and they started saying, yeah, I am strong. Draupadi is mine. Draupadi is mine. They started saying, and then assembled there also to witness this. All the Devas and Gandharvas, everybody came. Rudras came, Adityas, Vasus, Ashwins, Swadas, Marutas, Kubera, Yama, everybody came. And then the Rakshas of Daityas came, Supernas, that is Nagas, snakes, everyone came. Rishis came, okay. All the Deva Rishis came, Guhyakas. Charanas, Vishuvasu, Narada, Parvata, Gandharas, Apsaras, everybody came and they were all standing there to witness this Swayamara. Such an assembly there. And then Krishna, Balarama, as I said, they were also there. And then Krishna, looking at that, looking at around, at the crowd, he points to a place and tells his brother Balarama, says, look, can you see the five people there? Five men. The first one is Yudhishthira, the little bit bigger one, looking well built. That's Bhima. The one in the middle is Arjuna, Jishnu, and then the last two are Nakula and Sahadeva. Krishna tells his brother, Balrama says, mm, You just talk nonsense. He just made a face. You always talk like this. And then they continue. They just sit there and watch. Okay. Panda was also sitting among the crowd. Okay. As dressed as Brahmanas. They looked at Brauti, Draupati and thought, Oh, we wish, had a, wish I had a wife like her. 
Okay, she was so beautiful. I told you when she was born. So they also wished they could win. They would wish win that. And then all the princes and kings, one after another, started to showcase their strength and skills. First, they had to lift that bow and then tie the string. Nobody was able to lift it or even tie the bow. Okay, even if they lifted it, they could not tie the bow because you have to bend the bow and then tie it tightly. They could not do. All of them tried, tried so much. All their dress, costly uh, jewelry, everything they had, everything fell, their hairs, everything disarranged. They looked so bad, sweating and everything else. They slowly after that, they gave up and started returning to, returning to their place. And then, when everybody was failing, Karna stood up and Karna went there and he again, he thought he will shoot it and Pandavas looking at Karna thought, okay, he can do it. He can do it. And they were a little bit worried. But looking at Karna approaching that, Draupadi says, I will not select a Suta as my husband. Suta is someone who is born to a Kshatriya and a Brahmana. Okay. So that I will not, uh, because he was raised up by a Sutta. So she says, I will not marry a Sutta. Karna, with that insult, he goes back, he throws his everything bow and everything which he lifted and as about to tie the string, he throws everything away and he goes back. And then Shishupala from Chedi kingdom, he was also Jarada from Jarasandha from Magadha. They all tried. They were very strong and you will hear about them, how they, Krishna and Bhima and everyone fought them. They were such a strong people. Shalya similarly, all of them were very strong people. All of them failed to do this. And then when all of them were saying what this challenge is nobody can do is what is this drupada has done nobody can beat this challenge when they were saying like that jishnu stood up okay jishnu is, is another name of arjuna okay jishnu stood up and he started walking towards this machine that drupada has built okay and when arjuna goes there Okay, all the Brahmanas sitting next to him and around him, everybody and all the other Brahmanas in the crowd, they started saying, what is this man doing? Why is he going there? He's going to embarrass all the Brahmanas. People already say that Brahmanas are weak. They don't have strength. And he's going there in front of so many kings when Jayadratha, Jarasandha, Duryodhana, all of them could not do it. He is going there. What is he doing? And some other Brahmanas thought, let him try. At least there is one Brahmana who is brave enough to go and try something. Let him try. Let him try. And so Brahmanas were talking like that. They were discussing both ways. Some saying it is bad idea. Some were saying it is a good idea. Okay. And then some started saying that even though Brahmana is very weak because of his powers, he may be able to do because of the penance he has done, he may be able to do. So while Brahmanas were discussing like that and thinking, Arjuna goes near that bow, he worships Shiva and then remembers Krishna and then he takes up that bow. And when many of those people were failed, Arjuna easily ties the string around that. Okay. So he looks like holding that bow. He looked like Indra himself. Okay, sorry, Indra's brother. That is Indra's brother is Vishnu. He looked like Vishnu himself. And he takes the five arrows and looks at the mark above and then shoots. Immediately, that mark fell and Arjuna shoots that mark and everybody started cheering. And there was so much confusion as well. People were confused because so many people could not do. And this Brahmana easily went there, lifted the bow, tied it. And within the first arrow he took, he shot the mark. Everybody started confused. 
what's going to happen as so what happened they just were so shocked okay suddenly all the devas who were watching from the sky this wedding they started pouring flowers on arjuna and brahmanas who were sitting there they took their upper garment and started swinging in happiness saying we got a brahmana who won this swayamvara they were so happy that somebody from their group won the challenge okay and they all started and suddenly huge music and everything went in and then people were talking like that so draupadi looking at him draupadi was happy as well and yudhishthira immediately told that they should leave that place okay they should leave that place krishna who was there he was also filled with joy he was very happy for arjuna winning that and having one draupadi arjuna was ready to leave that place with his wife okay arjuna was with draupadi he was ready to leave at that time when drupada was ready to give away his daughter there all the kings who were assembled there they start they became very angry they thought this swayamvara was arranged and even though drishtadyumna said anybody who is born in a good race and who is who's got the skills and a sound mind can win this okay so who is good for draupadi can win this kings everybody thought while so many kshatriyas assembled there how can drupada give away his daughter to a brahmana okay they all started uh, uh saying drupada did it wrong and they wanted to attack drupada they prepared immediately they put their armor everything and then they were fully armed and ready to attack drupada and then at that time they the, the arjuna stopped them arjuna took his bow and released started shooting arrows and with him bhim also came so at that time krishna again says the man who is holding the bow is actually arjuna the one next to him the big one is bhima and he said all the pandavas with their mothers escaped from the house fire and when he says that balrama becomes very happy he always thought that they were they didn't they were dead and he becomes very happy and at that time arjuna and bhima were fighting okay arjuna was fighting with uh, karna and uh, bhima started fighting with shalya shalya duryodhana and everybody else karjuna karna and arjuna they were fighting one after another each of them released uh, one after another arrow then karna was very surprised if he releases five arrows in one go arjuna used to release 10 if he does 100 he used to do thousands so everything karna did arjuna had an answer and then karna was surprised he he stops fighting and he says who are you actually you are not a normal brahmana only parashurama vishnu indra or arjuna can face me like this nobody else can face me like this who are you there are only four people who can fight with me like, like this and then arjuna says he is not parashurama he is not vishnu but he is someone who has the blessing of brahmastra from his guru his guru has given him the knowledge of brahmastra and if required he can even release that brahmas weapon and when arjuna says that karna becomes worried and karna becomes worried that he is somebody very skilled in weapons so he hesitates and he withdraws from fighting and karna when withdraws shalya here they were for shalya and bhima also were fighting and they stuck with each other with their mace with fist mace they started kicking each other they fought such a huge uh, fight and then bhima throws shalya far away okay but he did not hurt him because he knew that shalya was his mother's brother so madri's uh, brother shalya so he did not hurt him he just throw him far away and 
when everybody all the assembled other princes and kings everybody saw that even karna and shalya were defeated like that they were all scared they all thought okay these two are not normal brahmanas they are somebody else they were thinking who can defeat karna except parashurama drona or arjuna in the current world on earth who can defeat him and again from bhima who can face him duryodhana or krishna or kripacharya or only only they can defeat shalya but this person has been defeated by somebody else he is not even balrama or duryodhana so who is this they were all thinking like that they all disappeared from that place while that was happening arjuna and bhima brought draupadi home so when they were addressing like that so at, at that time krishna stands up with all the kings and everybody were scared krishna says that these two people this arjuna this brahmana has won this um, draupadi lawfully as set out in the conditions so you all could not do it he has done it so let him go and then everybody tries all the kings and everyone they go away and then kurnya arjuna with draupadi returns home okay so when they were returning so late kunti at home was worried she wasn't aware what's what was happening in the theater or anything she was at home worried it's getting very late in the day they all used to come early in the afternoon they haven't come she was worried okay she was thinking maybe duryodhana found out about these five and maybe he's caused some problems or something has happened to her sons and at that time arjuna enters the home when i enters the home what they do is they present draupadi and says that we have got you bhiksha we have got some special bhiksha today bhiksha is on that's they have obtained through their daily rounds so they say that we got some special bhiksha kunti says you all enjoy okay whatever you have obtained she says that when she says and then turns around and she says krishna that is draupadi dressed beautifully and she just says oh my god what did i say why did i say that you all enjoy whatever you got and then she goes to yudhishthira and says this daughter of drupada's daughter was given to me and told me as something you have won as a bhiksha so i told that you all enjoy my how can my words whatever i said can go false how can it be untrue if if that doesn't happen if that happens if you all enjoy then panchali that is draupadi may become sinful because having five aspects okay she may not be comfortable with that what i have done how what is the mehta what should we do and yudhishthira says that he turns to arjuna and says he he has won her and he should marry and then arjuna says that he cannot marry before his brothers yudhishthira and bhima otherwise it would be sin and he asked yudhishthira what should be done and then at that time here yeah, all the pandavas look at draupadi and they were already thinking okay she was very beautiful okay they all wanted to marry her okay and looking at all the other four brothers thinking the same thing yudhishthira says uh, remembers what vyasa has told previously which that draupadi will be wife to all of them he tells them that we should marry all we should all four or five of us should marry draupadi and when the yudhishthira says all the brothers were happy okay they were all happy and then at that time krishna comes there krishna comes following arjuna he comes to that potter's house and he says that i am krishna i am 
from here blah 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 he explains himself and then he also balram also came and he also introduces and then pandavas expressed were very happy meeting krishna and balram at that time and then krishna worships uh, kunti's feet okay and then yudhishthira uh, explains everything what happened in varanavrat how they were living after that in eka chakra nagar what all happened and all those things he explains everything krishna immediately says okay i have to go because other people might recognize me visiting here so i will go so immediately krishna leaves krishna just comes there and waits them then here drupada and drupada and his sons everybody were thinking who is that brahmana who came here one draupadi and went away without saying anything went away who is that brahmana so drishtadyumna goes follows arjuna and bhima to their home when they gave all the vidhishthira so the, when they all go there so after daily bhiksha one day drishtadyumna follows bhima and arjuna and goes to their home and then they give their bhiksha all the bhiksha to draupadi and at that time kunti tells them that so whatever that you have take a portion of this give it to devatas uh, puja okay as offer as naivedya and then give it to brahmanas and then if anybody comes asking for food give them a portion guest who are coming give them a portion and then whatever is left after offering to deities brahmanas guests everybody whatever is left divide that in half in the first half of the portion that's divided make it give that to bima okay one half to bima and the rest divide into six parts eat four four of my sons eat one portion each i will eat one portion and you eat draupadi the last one so they give the food to devatas deities brahmanas guests and then whatever is left they give make in half half first half goes to bima okay himself and the remaining they make in six portions four pandavas yudhishthira arjuna nakula sahadeva and then kunti draupadi they all eat the half of the total half of the remaining food so draupadi did exactly what they said and then sahadeva prepared the bed of grass and deer skin when they prepared that pandavas all sleep in lines one after another and then kunti sleeps across them on their head above their head like a pillow above not pillow but above their head okay and then draupadi sleeps on the near their feet okay so like that they sleep and draupadi was not not at all sad that she used to sleep in a palace but now she is sleeping on a floor on a deer skin and a grass mat she wasn't slap, sad at all while they were sleeping they were discussing all the topics okay like chariots horses the weapons elephants and all those kind of things like kshatriyas do okay so they used to speak in like that dushtadyumna who was hiding in that house listens to everything and then all night he listens to all that and then observes them for the entire day and then the next morning he goes back to the palace and he reports everything to drupada saying these are not just brahmanas they have every qualities like kshatriyas okay hearing that drupada becomes very very happy okay he thinks that so he thinks that their his daughter has married a kshatriya and he becomes very happy okay so next drupada sends a messenger okay asking them asking that uh, he sends his priest to this potter's home to learn more about these brahmanas who they are and things like that the priest arrives there he asks everything yudhishthira worships that brahmana that priest and after that they say that we are here we came 
and we won the swayamvara please don't ask anything more from us that's what yudhishthira says and then at that time another messenger comes from drupada he says that the king has organized a wedding feast everybody please come okay and what happens in that wedding feast we shall look at it next week okay any questions today on today's story okay in that case uh last time last couple of weeks i said about yugas if you remember krita yuga treta yuga dwapara yuga kali yuga so let's just quickly look at the time okay i will start this today I probably will not be able to finish if you are good in maths it will be a good challenge okay again this is collected from different puranas and places so there are slight variation across some on some of these timings but more or less this is same so we have humans have one day right our one day let's start with the day and about 15 days together we call a fortnight is called a paksha and two pakshas that is krishna paksha shukla paksha krishna is moon gets darker and darker shukla is moon gets brighter and brighter together make a month called masa and then three such months become a season called ritu and four such rutus becomes one year okay for us and our one year is a day for devas okay so it is deities for them it is one year so our six months called uttarayana is their day time or dakshinayana which is normally between july to mid january is their night time okay diet is night time so total our one year is diet is one day okay one day and night and then like that if we have 360 years of our life becomes they was one year okay diet is one year our 360 years becomes they was one year and now look at the yugas okay so if you look at krita yuga krita yuga has total 4800 deva years okay diet is years there are 4800 deva years treta yuga has 3600 years okay and dwapara yuga has 2400 years and kali yuga has 1200 deva years okay these are all deva years here local years okay so each of that has got a sandhya that is starting and then main period of how many years and then sandhya sa which is ending of that yuga okay so similarly that you can see here our human years which is about 4 billion 4 million years is about one yuga cycle okay so that is one yuga cycle so ek krita yuga treta yuga dwapara yuga kali yuga total is about 12000 deva years is one maha yuga it is called maha yuga or chatur yuga okay four yugas complete in one cycle okay so we started with a day paksha masa ritu one year which is a one day for the years and then 360 years is one year and then yugas okay we will look at beyond what happens mahayuga next week okay thank you see you next week